It's a good energy thing too. You're like, okay, <laughs> let's like, go. Well, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Only Fiends with me, Karen Elizabeth Fian, and our special guest today, all the way from Los Angeles, it's Jeremiah Watkins. From one coast to the other, <laughs> over here on Karen's couch. <laughs> um, creator of Stand Up on the Spot. Yeah, you just did it recently and crushed. Got I a did. lot of great feedback on you. We got some great feedback. Well, the one clip we put out got a little, a little spicy. <laughs> we got a I mean, probably good for the algo. <laughs> Great for the algo. <laughs> Bad for the transo. No, uh, don't call him that. Um, don't just cut all this. No, whatever. Just bleep what I just said. I... Transos is not a good term to put out it there. It kind of sounds like benzo, but the other them. Yeah. Um, but lesbos, you know, that's fine. Lesbos are right? fine, so right? They can don't we mind. say transos? I don't know. I think we've it had might... three times now. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're moving past it. We're uh, the rule of threes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, that clip got a few people a little... A little angry. A little turn. A little, it was, yeah. You, you, uh, you really, you rounded out that thing with, with a joke at the end, thank God, because I was just kind of mumbling. Well, about, that's the thing, that's the thing with, with the show is you're riffing and you're finding, like, we're looking for the punchline together. Uh-huh. So, uh-huh. like, sometimes, like, with the setup, like, and that's the thing, people just heard the setup. Right. And then they saw red. And then, like, yeah. if you finish out the clip, there's, you know, we came, we found something. Yes. Yeah. I, uh, I mean, I was at my gym again today and... They weren't it there. Again? No, they weren't there. I think feel like maybe they saw the clip and canceled their membership. But <laughs> I can't help myself. You notice an unfollow. You're like, ooh, I, I, ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. <laughs> like, but how long have you been doing that stand up on the spot? Long time. So uh, coming up this year uh, on 14 years of doing that show. Really? Yeah. So we just started filming it just in the last few years. Oh, okay. But uh, basically, for the longest time, I wanted to film it but I didn't want to film it before the show was ready and before I was ready. Yeah. Because early on, like, and I still, like, still, like, as the person who opens those shows, Mm -hmm. my sets are all, they're not 50-50, but, like, they are, like, they're hard. Right. It's no, like the to get it going. Conceptually, it's a challenging concept. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like you got to get comics that are not only just, like, comfortable doing crowd work, but then act, that can actually write on the spot. Yeah. And it's hard. I I always say that it's the hardest show in comedy, especially like that we're like putting out there. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, I've been doing it like over 13 years now. And uh, yeah, just recently uh, been doing them consistently where it's like every other Monday we release new episodes on the YouTube channel. OK, cool. Yeah. And you've been traveling with it. Yeah, we do it at different festivals and I'm trying to come out to New York uh, to do it like a couple times a year That's smart. Um, because it's I mean, the scene is so great out here. And then with the festivals, it's, it's awesome. You did it at uh, that St. Petersburg yeah. um, Festival Sunshine the Sunshine Fest. It was a fun one. Florida. We made Florida. the most of it. We yeah. had a good time. I think it was a little spread out, but we had a great time. If they, if they condense it a little bit more, I think it'll be like a phenomenal festival. Yes, I yeah. agree. Yeah. Great uh programming though like every comic there was like good hang like yeah fun, like you know it was it was really it's good. always nice to, like when you walk into a green room and it's like a like you're like relieved yes. rather than like being like Ooh, Ooh, i don't know any but like any of you yeah yeah isn't that weird that we're all like surprised. working in different ways but yes. then you're like how many of us are, are there? there yeah you know and like then like sometimes you go on the road and you're like headline places and your openers in detroit are like i know did it and they're dropping names left and right and mm-hmm. i'm just like who you're the like, hell are you talking who about are they? and there's so many comics like i'm learning like now that i'm working the road more some comics like just work the road like they can be like quote unquote new york based but oh, like yeah. not work any of the clubs they're, so road really dogs. See, they're full road dogs and mm-hmm. good for them you know and they're making a living doing that yeah i don't know <laughs> side eye <laughs> you know good for them you're, you're right <laughs> a little bit a little bit and you know what you know that's it, fine good for them they don't do the major clubs no, they, they don't, don't do, do pass anywhere in new york yeah. no, they're not your boss yeah, they're, they're new york they don't, really, anybody says they don't really understand how they pay rent in new york <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's totally chill that's fucked up i'm fucked up so 14 <laughs> years so that's yeah. your baby that's really cool yeah, like yeah. do you like trademark it and like copyright it and all that stuff because i could see it being a show like 
Yeah, I mean, uh, the goal is what I, what my my dream for the show is to get it to a place where with the YouTube and the following and everything and just the name recognition where it's an undeniable thing where it gets a series properly like on a big streamer. Yeah, um, yeah. But we'll see. I mean, I'm really happy with how like the lineups and everything. Honestly, I'm so grateful that comics trust me enough to like be a part of it and stuff right. like that because the little behind the scenes process before anything goes out, I always send it to the comics mm -hmm. and they basically, okay. But because sometimes when you're riffing in the moment, you say some wild things that you don't want out there. Yep. Um, or you leave it in and, <laughs> <laughs> or you don't give a shit. Yeah. Uh, which is fun. Both right, are fun. But that, that is nice of you to do that because it's just an extra it's step to make it. comics feel comfortable. So yeah. it's like, so like you don't want to walk off stage and be like, what did I say? That's right. going to go on YouTube now Yeah, where like you get a chance. Like, like, uh, I had a, a comic on the show last night who did it at New York comedy club. They're like, Hey, keep everything. Just cut that one thing I said. I was like, great. Not right. a problem. No you know? problem. Yeah. yeah. That's helpful. Cause that makes everybody feel safe. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the proof of concept is totally there. And then you, you just, you know, you get some big ass fucking names and then it's a fucking, yeah. I mean, you got great caliber comics right now, but you got fucking Kevin Hart on stand up on the spot. That'd be great. That'd be cool. Kevin. I Kevin, know you watch this what pod. What are we doing? Come, Come on, on man. Kev. Come on. Stand up on the spot. Come on, dude. Do it. <laughs> Netflix is a joke festival's coming up, dude. <laughs> are Come you going to be man. there? I'm going to be there. You're you? all over that probably. I'll are you be, doing I'll stand up on the spot there? Yeah, we're going to do stand nice. up on the spot there. And then uh, we're going to do uh, a Dr. Phil live Oh, uh, with, there, uh, um, with Adam Ray. Adam Ray. Yeah, yeah. I He's do different uh, characters on that. So you do that? You Yeah, Jeremiah does a lot of stuff. You also do, I'm going to call it the Trailer Park Podcast, but what is that? It's you and that woman. <laughs> it's called Trailer Tales. Trailer Tales. Yeah, it's yeah. funny. It's fun. What's it's her ridiculous. Name? Uh, it's Chelsea Lynn and Libby Higgins. Okay, there's two of them. Sorry. Yeah. I think Ch maybe Chelsea Lynn is the one I'm. She, uh, she's Trailer Trash Tammy. That's her character. Yeah. And then the other, uh, Libby Higgins <laughs> plays a character named Crystal. <laughs> What's your character's name? Dave Gunther. <laughs> yep. He wears a wig. Yeah. I wear a mole wig. It's a good time. <laughs> yeah. When yeah. did you start doing that? Uh, that's a recent, recent podcast. Yeah. We're like literally like 10 episodes in. That cracks that. me up. Yeah. Is that hard to schedule? Is it? Hard? So I fly out to Nashville. No way. Yeah. I fly out to Nashville and then. You have a family. Yeah, but it's just like a road gig. Okay, okay. It's not like I'm flying out there every week. All right, all right. We bank episodes. Oh, okay, smart. That's the luxury of doing that show is because it's all riffing and improv. Yep. We can do literally multiple back to back okay. and it's so fun and yep. silly. Silly. It's so like it's so refreshing because you know, you do a lot like a lot of podcasts where you leave and you're like, like that felt like work more yeah, than like I know. It's like I didn't read the syllabus before I came yeah. here. Like I don't know Janice Joplin's. What is like, the difference between LA and New York <laughs> County? I think we should cover it on another thousand <laughs> podcasts from every moment since the beginning of time to the end it's of time. It's exhausting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where, whereas, Honestly, I like that you have oh, you no can shoes even, on the no podcast. Shoes, no shoes. You can no, put them you on can the do couch. No socks. I see them in the clips and I get excited. I'm like, that looks like a comfy, I mean, we're going to have good podcast. retention on this, but Whoa. just in case. Just in case. Well, if I we, whip out the dogs, you might lose some yours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who took their socks off on Legion of Skanks recently, but somebody took a picture of a foot and I was going to vomit. Men's feet. I know. You are guys not have meant a, to be seen. No, they're not. They're meant, to, they're meant to kick and stomp and lead the way. Yes. <laughs> I'm exactly. right behind you. <laughs> yep, exactly. And have a woman holding on for dear life. Right <laughs> you <behind> lucky. <laughs> <coughs> so, wait, that. And then my the first time I came to know you, you were part of the wave. Yeah. That yeah. was my first introduction to Jeremiah Watkins. So funny doing that. How did that? Were you doing that at the store? We were doing that at the store. When and it first then, started? Like uh, back in early the day? On, yeah. Uh, basically, it used to be when it very first started, it was like this thing where it was a, it was a parody of Def Jam comedy. Okay. It was Jamar and mm -hmm. a bunch of black comics yeah. that were in the corner. And they would, <laughs> after a joke hit, they'd just go, oh! <laughs> <laughs> just like ridiculous. This is Jamar's artwork, everyone. He's done the pod. Dude, I love that's my bro. Times. I love Jamar He's so much. He's the best. Oh my goodness. So yeah, that's and you guys would do like because you did it. I was on the second season, um, and I battled Louis J. Gomez. Yeah. In New York, we should probably probably try to find this, Nicole. So 
at the end or something like I think he beat me or whatever and then uh, Lisa Lampanelli was like um, it seemed like you went easy on her and Lewis goes oh no I was trying to make her cry mm. and then Jim Norton goes oh well then you should have proposed and like without missing a beat you guys came on stage you had like a rose in your mouth like you did like a full on act out it was so I remember it was so funny but you guys are just so fast because you have to come up with that stuff in the moment yeah yeah uh, we don't we we don't know the comedian's jokes ahead of time. Right. So it was one of those things where it was very quick, high level improv with props. Did, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. With props. That was mm -hmm. crazy. Uh, did you ever battle too? Or were you just a wave guy? We did. We did a oh, wait, one battle as the wave. Right. Who did yeah. you battle? Triplets. <laughs> <laughs> we did it as like a gimmick battle. Yeah, you know? I love it. I Jamar's love it. battled a bunch over time, but Willie yeah. and I are, that's not so much like, like I've judged the show. I enjoy that. But like, I, I think I might be a little bit too uh, sensitive in that regard where like, I can't, that's not my, that's not my comedy love language. Right. I, I like building off and like, like riffing with people. More but of like, a collaber, not a yeah, tear down. Not like a tear down. Yeah, I yeah. get it. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to do it at the Netflix is a joke thing? Are they, what are they There's doing? There's rumors that there might be some kind of reunion happening. <laughs> We haven't done it in a long time, but there's rumors spreading. It sounds good. It sounds good. It sounds it likely. It sounds like it might happen. It also sounds like this festival is four weeks long. Oh, my goodness. Is the it, amount... The, it, I'm it, a little bit worried, honestly, how many shows are going on. Yeah, but, like, are there enough audience to attend all of the shows? That's what I'm worried about. That's what I'm worried about. Um, there's a lot. Wait, is that the schedule? Wow. It's like May 1st it's, to the 12th. Yeah. It's like a week and a half long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's wild. Yep. Is it? I don't know that much about it. Do you know? You probably know more than me. Is like, is a lot of it at the store or just theaters all around? It's literally Everywhere. most of the venues. Like it's crazy. Wow. It's going to feel probably the closest to like a moon tower. New JFL. York or like a moon tower, you know, like, like very, like, I think there's going to be a lot of people hanging out and seeing each other, which is great. Yes. And I think that what I've heard is that the store is going to be kind of like the after party spot. Cool. Like people are going to, because they're going to stay late and they are encouraging people to come pop in and all that stuff. Oh, good. So yeah, should be cool. Yeah. I'm doing Joe list and I made a couple shorts that are going to be like premiering at some. Oh thing. yeah. I've been seeing you post like uh, stills and stuff. From yeah. That. Cool. Um, Sam Rubinoff made, sorry, Sam, of course, credit you. He made one and then Joe made another one. And then I'm like, I'm going to open for Joe one of his, like, I think he has like a theater show. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I'm doing Tuesdays with stories with him and Mark. And I, oh, think, be great. I think it's going to be Tim Dillon, but I don't know. Oh, in the main room. It's that's such a good podcast room. Is it? I love it. That's where we did Kill Tony out of for years. It's oh, okay. great. Yeah. Um, I asked to do Kill Tony because I'm going to be Austin, but he's all booked for two weeks. No big deal, Tony. Um, no big deal. I just won't ever forgive you. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Why am I like this? Uh, By the so, way, I have to give a shout out to you. Me? The way you welcomed me into what? your home. Of course. Cheese, crackers. You ate We're all the pepperoni. We're talking cheese, <laughs> pepperoni. <laughs> Fatty ate all the pepperoni, I guess. Yes, I, I ate a lot more. of the pepperoni. It's very good. Um, But yeah, she's like, you hungry? I'm like, you know what? I actually am a of little bit Of course you are. Because yeah, it's great. I know how it's like, you know Liz Splat? Yeah. She was in Love town. Liz. I do too. She did uh, stand up on the spot when we did it in Dallas and she crushed. I bet. Yeah. She's a talent. She's definitely a force of nature. I like her a lot. Great energy. Mm -hmm. She came and she was just like another one. I'm watching her stories and I'm like, this girl's been bebopping around since 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. And she told me, and I'll call Ian Finance out. I don't give a shit. She told me, she was like, he went to go get a pizza before they did Bye Guys or whatever. And he, <laughs> she, he, she was like, can I go get a slice? And he's like, we don't have time. <laughs> so the poor girl... I just worry about you guys because I know I'm the same way because when you're somewhere that your maybe normal routine isn't, I try to just pack as much of shit Of course, in. you want to make it count as much as you can because yeah. like how often, you know, are you in LA? So you want to line up as many things as you can. Right. Yeah. And then I don't think you guys think about lining up snacks and hydration. Yep. Yep. My <laughs> wife was literally on the phone. She's like, please drink water while you're yeah. Yeah. I'm like. Yeah. Oh, all right. Good, rem good reminder. Okay. Sure. All right. I was yeah. like, you have a family, Jeremiah. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's nice. How long have you and your wife been married? Since uh, 2017. That's great. And we've been together though. She was with me went like around the time where I was like early on in stand up. So she's been uh, with me since like 2011. 
That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So she's seen like literally. She has been like some open mics with me early on, oh, and wow. then I was like, "Please don't ever come right. to another one." I appreciate the support, but yeah. it was at a coffee shop, and I was like just trying to do my best in I front know. of like five people. I was like, "I love you, but like I can't let you see me like right." This. I can only imagine. I bet it's harder for men. It's hard for me when I'm dating a guy, even in like a big room, even at like the stand, and like. The guy I'm dating, he's like, I want to watch every time. Every time I want to watch you. I'm like, yeah. I don't have enough material for you to stay right. interested. So and you don't want to like as a comic, if you want to work on the minutia of like literally it could be one tag or one line right. that you want to work on that night. Risk. You don't want to have them see the same set over and over. Right. It's just like and then you're worrying about somebody else watching your show and you're like, I don't now I'm in it's my head. It's always in the back of my head yeah. if they're in the room and it's hard to explain to them because they're like, well, not my case, maybe you have it easier. But sometimes they're like, but I just I love you. I just want to watch you. And I'm like, well, just go watch my <laughs> yeah. podcast at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Support, like, comment, subscribe, okay? That's how you can help me. Get the algos going, okay? Tell some friends about it. That's how you can support me. Um, By the way, guys, leave a like and a comment. Please. Come on, guys. Do that. It helps. Subscribe to the channel. This All is, of that stuff helps. Do you want to? We've, we've touched upon a lot of your projects, but is there anything you'd like to plug specifically? This is this might be a good moment. Oh, you know what? Um, on April 1st, not another Crowdwork special uh, is coming out. That's my uh, my next uh, Crowdwork special. It's uh, on my YouTube. So, awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Yep. YouTube's the platform, man. That's where it's at these it's days. Where it's at. That's where the creators go. Yeah. <laughs> and then as soon as you get Netflix, I like Netflix. I know, of course. <laughs> yeah, Give yeah. me that N E T Netflix. Yeah, yeah. But it's cool. Um, where did you grow up? Kansas. Midwestern guy. Midwestern guy, through wow. and through. Yeah. What was that like? <laughs> Elaborate about Kansas. <laughs> I've never been to Kansas. Have you been to Kansas? There's not really a reason to go there if you're not from that area. I mean, you know, I love Kansas and Kansas City. Like, if you want good barbecue, if you want to go see the Chiefs, if you want to check out the City of Fountains, uh, then What's come that? there. See? We, What's that? Kansas City is a city of fountains. Okay. We've got hundreds of fountains. Really? Mm -hmm. And they all have water in them. Yeah. Working fountains. Holy shit. I mean, Karen, if this what? isn't convincing you to come. What more? You got to come to Kansas City. I'm so, I'm like the most geographically dumb person. Like I got caught cheating on the capitals test when I was in seventh grade by sister Ella Jane, who is morbidly obese and i should have fucking felt her sneaking up on me and like breathing down my neck but she was like she grabbed the back of my neck she's like i see that because i had like a piece of paper like a whole cheat sheet but anyway my point is i'm just so dumb when so it comes you, you went to a catholic school yeah did you go to catholic school? i went to a private christian school <laughs> so we we didn't have uh morbidly obese nuns but we had morbidly obese teachers okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah we had some wild ones but so it was christian though mm -hmm. so did you have like religion class like we had oh okay so get this 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 blows my wife's mind when i tell her about this our science book was a creationist science book What? so there was no it was it was a theory of evolution that Charles Darwin uh, was trying to prove, basically. Okay. That, that was basically Just like the their theory. angle. Right. The theory of evolution. Yeah. But like it was a creation based science book. And so that's it was like, like God, God create. created the world and in seven days, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know? So very different. And my wife's like, what? how is that? Uh, right. I'm like, and, and at that school, you're talking about states. I never learned them because we, we, did, we skipped that section. Stop it. <laughs> That's hilarious. We so like there's only Bible one time. state, church state. Yeah, keep them, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep them together. So I cannot, like, if you show me a map I struggle. with empty, like the empty spots, yeah. I, I can fill in like a handful, but I feel so dumb. I, it's the middle where I just lose it. I'm good on the outside and the perimeters and the lows and the yeah. east and the west coast, but like, I, like Kansas, like. You I, know which one Kansas is? I'm curious. No, I don't, Jeremiah. Okay, that's I'm okay. I'm really sorry. That's okay. My guess is one of the four ones above Texas. I mean, you're right. Yes. You're definitely right. One of those four? It's it's in that middle section. Wait, wait point to it. No? Nicole? No, that's Texas, up. Nicole. Oh. Nicole. I don't know where it is. Oh, up two from, from up Texas. Up two from Texas. That up one more. See? Yeah, yeah. That's like so tough. Yeah. 
all those middle ones. I'll yeah. go there too. I'll not there, but like I'll go to Ohio and st- or Iowa. Oh, I mean this the, that East Coast section. I can't even really like the little ones. Or... I know literally. <laughs> <laughs> the whole eastern side is so pathetic. I'd be like, uh, if they were like, for $1 million, yeah. I'd be like, I don't Really? I don't know. Because I feel like I could do New England. Like, I could do, like, Maine, Vermont. I'm so bad. Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Rhode Island. I feel like I could I could bank those. I mean, but you're... Look at all of those little states could fit in your fucking state, though. Yeah. That's psychotic. Yeah, because, you know... Kansas, you know, <laughs> we got some stuff going on. You have there. siblings? I do. Older Are they bro- still there? Yeah, still there. Sorry, older brother. Go ahead. I older just... brother, younger sister. Yeah. Okay. Me too. Yeah. We're both middle. middle child. Child. Yeah. Oh, Here, pound wow. it. That's why we need so much attention. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> High kick score. <laughs> I'm forty. Okay. Uh, that's great that they're still there. Both of them. Yeah. Yeah. My family, like, I mean, it's Massachusetts, but everybody stays. How often do you go back? That's pretty uh, close, so that's not too bad. I try to go back, like, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and once in the summer. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. My parents are in Cape Cod, so it's pretty there in the summertime. Good beach. Oh, be- I've heard, yeah. I've good heard beaches. Nice yeah. You've never been? Never been to Cape Cod. My no. dad bartends on the ferry that goes from Cape really? Cod to Nantucket, if you ever want a I bet free he ride. has some stories. He does. He, uh, he is he makes, a people person? He is. That's the same with my dad. My 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 dad is so outgoing and yeah. Yeah. Yep. He tells everybody about me too. He'll be bragging about me and he'll like say the name of the podcast. He's like, she's got a pot only fiends. Oh, my last name's Fiend. And then they Google me and find my OnlyFans. My dad's like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's, that's not, something different. That's not my daughter. <laughs> oh, no, no. Yeah, he's such a people like guy and he'll never retire. That's awesome. That's how my dad is. He literally just started a new job recently. Yeah. Yeah, at the Salvation Army. He's like, yeah. Loves, yeah. loves it. I can make a difference. Red yeah. apron. He's all in. He He's like doing like, he's like their maintenance coordinator or something now. Loves it. Yeah, loves yeah. it. Yeah. Does and he's like, and they get free food when they don't want it. <laughs> 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 but I'm like, Dad, somebody couldn't use that? He's like, nah, no, 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 they're going to throw it out. <laughs> My dad is, he goes like dumpster diving though. Yeah? Legit. Like sometimes like he'll, he's like, I got you something. I'm like, where'd you get it? Right. He's like, eh, I got it out of a dumpster. <laughs> he's like, I polished it. Yeah, yeah. I cleaned it up for yeah, you. Yeah, he legit goes dumpster diving and he just sent me a bunch of uh, old uh, basketball and baseball cards and I know that he got them out of a dumpster. It might be worth something though. It might be. Did you tell Corinne Fisher about him? No, I should though. Cause she's I got saw that, her last night. Yeah, she's I, got that store. I think it, she doesn't have it anymore. I have to ask her about it. What oh, she's, yeah? What she's doing with it. Okay. Her and John Campanelli were running yes, it, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. her dad's store and she kept it alive for a long time but then I saw that she was closing it. I'm wondering what she's going to do with all that memorabilia. That's a lot. She could probably make a lot of money. Probably. I'm Antiques tr- Roadshow? I'm like, I'm going to try to rob Corinne Fisher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Corinne, I'm coming for you. Are your parents still married? No, they're oh, not. Oh. Are yours? Yeah. Lucky. <laughs> I know. Wow. I, I know, I'm a she rare. She set me up just so I could fall. <laughs> I Look it. at her. You seem- oh, your parents? Oh, yeah, mine are still together. That's Oh, okay. <laughs> you seem so homegrown, Christian school. I, I didn't think they would be allowed to get divorced. Oh, dear. My, but yeah, my my uh, my parents are wild. <laughs> They're freaking wild, dude. You either go one way or the other. This guy went one way, the parents went the other, dude. <laughs> Yeah, but they love you no matter what. And that's all that matters. Oh no! Yeah, I got deep love, deep yeah. love for my family. Yeah, my dad is actually he's. I bring him on stage. He uh, during the crowd work special. He drove from Kansas City to Minnesota to see the show. So it was awesome. Had a fun you. moment. Yeah, he yeah, loves you. Oh, he and I let him tell a joke on stage, and he crushed. Crush. They always do. I mean, it's hard for them to fail. People are really rooting for them. I mean, and my dad was so excited because somebody hooked him up with weed after the show. <laughs> He was so, he's like, he's like, somebody gave me free weed? I go, yeah, I told the audience to give you free weed. And yeah, they listened. He was elated. Yeah, he's like, he's like, that's so cool. My mom has her medical marijuana, whatever, license. Yeah. Know, it's not a license. I don't know. But she's always eating her gummy. She's like, you want a gummy? Are you stressed out? Okay, you older want a gummy? people who just discovered gummies <laughs> is its own thing right now. Yep. 
They are obsessed. They're like, it's not drugs, it's gummies. It's gummies. You want a gummy? You want a gummy? She's like driving. Take the edge off. A yeah, gummy. Like, what are you doing? Mom, where are we? Yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite store. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's uh it's good for her though, because she doesn't sleep. So I'm like My dad will sleep in very small increments of time and then be like, all right, I'm ready to... Really? Two hours at a time. Two, three hours at a time. Oh, my God. Yeah. But he's my like, you know... kind of like he's that, like too. He's a little bipolar. He's got a little bit of the bipopo. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a little... Bipopo. He's got a little scotch of that. <laughs> scotch. Scotch of the bipolar. See, my dad can, like, fall asleep in a chair anywhere. Like, if my dad was watching this podcast right now, he would... He could easily... That's me. Really? I could literally be... Never been inside your place before if you if you left me unattended <laughs> i'm like an old man i'm just like <laughs> i can I pass sleep out. anywhere i sleep yep. on planes and buses and trains i'm a i'm an elite sleeper that's crazy because you're so tall i would think you would be uncomfortable uh i have back problems but i i crunch in like a praying mantis <laughs> like, i just fall asleep and then i wake up i'm like oh god yeah. that was horrible <laughs> but i fall asleep in whatever position yeah i'll cram in yeah some people are like, I can't sleep on planes. And I'm like, I don't think you're trying hard enough. You're not. Do you want, <laughs> you're not. Okay. I'm actually very passionate about this. Can I give your listeners tips on if you are having problems falling asleep on a flight or in public? In public. If you just can't get <laughs> shut eye when you're on jury duty and you just can't get a nap Guys, in. Are you ever on the job <laughs> and you just need a quick 15? Okay. <laughs> Create, this is what I, I did, and it ha, is fail-proof. Okay, it's, you know the uh, how the, the Pavlovian technique of the ring the bell, eventually the dog's going to salivate, salivate because they know that the food is going to be there, yeah. right? Okay, same idea behind this. Create a music playlist that's calming or just the same music. I would recommend a calming music playlist, like either like sleeping sounds or something ethereal or Enya. Love it. Always. Enya go to. Yep. Yep. When I hear Enya, my brain knows that I'm on a plane now. Wow. And knows that I am trying to fall asleep. Yeah. And I go to sleep within five to ten minutes tops. Wow. Usually under five minutes. It's usually before the second Enya song reaches I'm out. <laughs> I fall asleep pre takeoff. I see the only reason I don't do that is a couple times you when up, there's mid. a delay oh, and I'm, I'm like, sucks. where am I? What and you it? haven't left yet. You haven't left that yet. That sucks. That's so happened to me too. I, I, you so fight it? I, See, once I feel the wave, I'm like, you're right. right. <laughs> <laughs> you're absolutely right. Why would we be, be awake? <laughs> if, if, as soon as we start to take off, then then that's when I pass out. Yeah. But like I, a couple times it screwed me over and recently... Um, like there's it information or something. There it has it screwed. They screwed me over real bad. Like ma massive delays where my my Sunday was gone because like they of rerouting oh, and all that sucks. stuff. Traveling's yeah. hard. That's I mean that that's the job part of this. It's hard. It's yeah. hard on our immune systems. It's mm -hmm. hard on our bodies. It's hard on like that body clock. Like I almost never make it to the gym on travel days. So I'll like. How can you be productive with that? That's so hard. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I, that's why people are like, why don't you have like a roller bag? I like having a big, heavy duffel because in my head, I repeat, airport is gym. Airport is gym. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can lug my bag right. everywhere, which is probably crazy. But what's your fitness like? What do you do? Uh, I play basketball once or twice a week when I'm in town. Okay. That's usually my exercise. And then trying to walk uh, and just pick up my sons right, right now. Right, right. <laughs> like I don't like do like any weight training, but I do like... I throw them up in the air and then I will lift my, my older son is almost three and he's starting to get kind of heavy and I'm like, Oh, okay. This is freaking, <laughs> he loves it though. He loves like me lifting. That's up. the best. And then afterwards I just, we play a game called, if you've never played a game called tiger, you got to try this game out. <laughs> okay. You pretend you're a tiger what? for 45 minutes straight. <laughs> <laughs> and you just crawl around on the uh, floor. This game's too hard for me to understand. Listen, let me break it down a little bit more. You act like a tiger for 45 minutes with a child, and it's exhausting. I see my sister. She has a two-year-old, and she's pregnant right now. And the doctors are like, don't, you know, you're not supposed to be lifting this kid. And it's like, yeah. she has no choice, though. Yep. And then they'll be like, okay, just kidding. You can lift him, but not for long periods of time. Mm -hmm. And she's like, so I took... Um, I took whatever she took my nephew to this like Easter egg thing. She sent me a video 
It was a helicopter that came and like dropped a shit ton of eggs on this open field. And then all these kids just like uh, run. An actual helicopter? Yeah. I know. I'm like, Colleen, where? That's my sister. I'm like, where do you find this shit? But she, also, she's like a super mom. She's how very, expensive was that I outing? know. <laughs> a helicopter? Right. So then she's like, I'm running around trying to grab all these eggs because Robert's two. He's just picking his nose, like minding his business. And I'm like, Colleen, why? <laughs> Try explaining this conversation to a third world country. I know. <laughs> They drop what from a helicopter? It's, yeah, it's just candy. You know, it's Why? like a holiday. We do this all the time. For the kids. Yeah, for the kids. It's for the kids. Because they want it. They yeah. like it. Do you... Oh, so your your boys are still young enough that you're playing Santa for Christmas time or no? Yeah. Yeah. We're still doing Santa That's and stuff fun. like that. It is. It is. And like Halloween is like huge lit. right now. It's yeah. lit, Easter's dude. about to be lit. Easter's about hunt. to be popping. <laughs> Our savior's about to rise again, dude. <laughs> I don't know if you heard the good news. <laughs> uh, that's so fun. That's like, to me, that's like the most fun stuff that I see parents doing when they get to like. When you get, I mean, uh, some of the most fun stuff, honestly, is getting to relive the your favorite parts of your childhood and introducing it to your kids. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, like, I'm starting to introduce them to different cartoons and stuff like that. Right. And I like, I am a, a superhero nerd and stuff like that. So, and I, so I voiced this is this is a cool dad moment, a cool like crossover nerd thing. Uh, so I voiced the Joker on a couple uh, uh, things on Cartoon Network, a couple episodes of a show called oh, DC Superhero awesome. Girls. Yeah, and we, my son is old enough now where we showed him the cartoon. Okay, he wants to play Batman and Joker literally with me all, all the time because you do the voice. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. He's like, let's go, Joker. Let's go. <laughs> And wait till he gets like like does he brag to his friends about you like no no but no but he no. will I mean he's like my dad's the Joker yeah, what yeah, does yeah. your dad do work at Home Depot my dad's <laughs> the fucking Joker that's awesome yeah that's cool we uh, I keep thinking I'm like uh, this lunchbox I'm like do you know oh, who yeah. Zarface is I actually don't this what is, is Zarface like, he is a rapper he's gonna love this little plug okay. It's cool though. Cool design. I have uh, he. This is his like superhero, I guess. Thing. I'm so bad. Oh, this is like his art that he did. Yeah, Zarface. It, like they make what? Like no. Like what are they? Animated books or whatever. It's like he is part of a rap group. It's him and Inspector Deck um, from Wu Tang. And so yeah, he like makes all this like cool like superhero characters and stuff. And he's got kids. He's got daughters. I I think he just has daughters. Yeah, look at all that shit. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know why. I just was like, Jeremiah might like this. That's cool. Uh, superhero nerd. Who's your favorite superhero? Spider-Man and Batman. Spider-Man for Marvel. Yeah, he's like, uh, <laughs> Which another game I played with Sorry, my son. Sorry, I'm at home right now. I'm walking in a spider web. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Have you ever been lifted up? And acted like you're. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty fun game. Yeah. And he does the as I lift him up. Yeah. Spider Man and Batman for sure. Hell yeah. Yeah. Have you taken them to like Disneyland or anything yet? They're still so yeah, young. Yeah, I'm kind of like pissed we did, but we did. Yeah. You did? Yeah, we did. You're mad you did? It's just like, it was like, it was, it's fine. Like he got a memory out of it, but like, I don't know if I'll do it again. R like overwhelming. It wasn't worth It's like way too much. And also, like, this is the only, like, like conspiracy th side of me. <laughs> I'm like, they're adver it's so weird because they're advertised to at such a young age that they're so, like... The like, expectations. The expectations are so out of control. Yeah. Like, Mickey's on your diapers. Mickey right, is... Right. It's just, it's so much. By the time they get there, like, he had a full-blown meltdown before we left because he didn't want to go. Leave. It was raining outside. And yeah. I'm like... I'm like, hopefully you had a good memory out of this, but right, like, was right. this too much for you? Yeah. My um, brother and sister-in-law just took their kids to Disney World for the first time, mm -hmm. and they went um, on a Saturday, and it was just like such an endeavor. Yeah. they. I think mm -hmm. they left at like 5.30 in the morning, and this is the vacation. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. this is your vacation. This is your vacation. You're waking up at 5.30 to drive, you know, there, and then their you know, biggest complaint, they were like, there's just so many people. It's so much. But you spend most of your time in line, like waiting to go on these rides, because they're like a little older. They're like, I don't know how old my niece and nephew are, but they... Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> they're old. I think older than your kids. So they're like going on all the rides, but like sometimes one wouldn't want to go on the ride. So then you've just waited two hours in line and you don't even want to go sure. on the ride. And it's like, it's a money pit. Hot dogs are fucking $50. They have some free stuff that that's, that's cool. That's yeah. literally like uh, sleeping beauty's castle that you just literally walk through and it's different slides from the movie. And he's, <laughs> He'd just seen that recently, okay. so he like lo- he wanted to keep walking through. I'm like, all right, fine, whatever yeah, you want. It. It's yeah. for you, not me. Yeah, my grandfather made me go when I was 23 years old to Disney World, Too and late. I I just got hammered at Epcot. I was like, where's fucking Paris? Yeah, <laughs> to go get wasted. Also, because I didn't go. If you don't go as a kid, they don't have a hold on you, in my opinion. If you go as a kid, yeah. they have a hold on you for the rest right. of your life. You're right. Because my wife's family <laughs> went as children and they're so hooked on the freaking Kool-Aid. Yep. I'm a Kansas kid, never went there. <laughs> I went as an adult. I'm like, this place sucks. <laughs> There's nothing going on here. I only saw the cons. And I'm a pretty positive person, but I was like, I see right through that yep. tactic and that. And you're trying to advertise me here. I know what a commercial is. Yeah. So I'm in one right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we went through first time I went it was like the time of my life like my parents also surprised us like it was Christmas when we got the gift I mean that's so, that's an epic family gift. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we're opening like Disney like sweatshirts and the, and I get the mini ears and stuff and we're like looking at each other like oh, why are we getting these Disney presents and then my parents are like oh my god at Disney World <laughs> <laughs> wow so your parents are still together that's so nice that's so good for you i'm really happy that it worked out for your family my mother says this terrible thing all the time though she goes yeah the first 44 years were great they're on they're approaching 50 <laughs> she's such a bitch love you mom um but then yeah we went and stayed at there was a wilderness park so like as oh, a family you did it yeah you we did, did we wow. were there for like a week like five days oh my goodness and like I, maybe it wasn't as expensive as it is now. Like, I mean, we're talking. I was a 90s kid. You I didn't know? go to Disneyland. I went to Worlds of Fun and my parents are divorced. <laughs> <laughs> Worlds of Fun in Kansas City. Worlds of Fun sounds like War of the Worlds. <laughs> I mean, you know, there were, there was a, there was definitely rides that people died on there. <laughs> like legitimately, people died on the rides. I, I believe Their stories. It. I believe it. <laughs> I believe it. I, I watched. I, I read about those roller coaster mishaps. Oh yeah. My there was a thing called the Fiesta shows, and my like second cousin was like the head. It was like carnies though, mm. and and people would die and get electrocuted on those things all the time. Cause yep. You would just sign your life away when you walked in. We're like we might die. We're like also, okay. it's a not professional person running the rides. Correct. It's somebody with no training whatsoever. No that's training. Just literally hitting a button. So if anything goes wrong, there's like uh, uh, I think your kid's dead. Right. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know CP. Are. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on meth. <laughs> I have a tooth. Yeah. <laughs> Far, I can't help you out here. <laughs> I can't. But yeah, when we went to Disney World, we stayed in like these log cabins. It was like the wilderness thing. We saw these dancing beavers. It was like we did everything. Every single. I think I was too afraid to go on Space Mountain, like one ride, but every, we did everything. That's awesome. And then, uh, yeah, I was so fearless when I was little about like roller coasters and rides. You don't like roller coasters now? I'm not a big fan of the feeling of, of oh, losing my stomach. What about you? I like it. You like it? Yeah, I People like it People like lot. it. <laughs> yeah, but I also, I, I really like scary movies. I yeah. like that sensation of a lot. Thrill. Of you the, like thrills. Yeah, I like thrills. <laughs> I get off on thrills. <laughs> <laughs> your new Twitter bio. Thr- Thrill Boy. <laughs> Hi, it's your boy, Thrill Boy. <laughs> Reporting live on the new roller coaster at Disneyland. Hands up. And wow. <laughs> did it blow my hair back? <laughs> I like that was like a learned fear, though. Like I used to go on this um, water slide called Geronimo. Look up this water slide, Nicole. Geronimo. It's at, it was at uh, Water Country, Water Country. Have some fun. Dun, dun, dun. There it is, Geronimo. It's just straight down. And I was eight years old. I probably weighed 40 pounds. And so your back would just come off the slide. So you're just free falling like straight down until you hit the bottom and then like the water goes up. And I would be my fat Uncle Bob, a rest in peace. He, rest in peace, fat Uncle Bob. <laughs> Rest in peace, you fat piece of crap, dude. Keep resting, you idiot. 
<laughs> Shout out to Fat Uncle Bob. Look dude. at how scary that is, though. It was so By high. By the way, I don't call any of my my relatives fat, like 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 in front of their names, because it's kind of implied. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're from Kansas. Yeah, yeah. I got some fatties in my I got family. Some corn fed family uh-huh. members. Yeah. But he, we, I would keep going up and down the stairs of this ride. It would be like a lot of teenagers and college kids. And I would get to cut because I was a kid. I don't like these kind of rides. This was scary. Yeah. I, eventually, like I think when I turned like 10, there was one time I went down and I was like absolutely terrified. And I was like, why was I doing that? When I was eight and my uncle would be like talking shit to the teenagers because they'd be like, oh, we're so scared. And my uncle was probably hammered at noon in New Hampshire. Mm-hmm. He's like, she's doing it again. She's eight. <laughs> oh. But, yeah, I do not. The element of water added is just not. It's not good. No, and so I have scary. a saw so at Six Flags on the water park side. They've got a ride that I would not. You'd have to pay me to ride this ride again. Yeah, it's a trap door slide. I don't like that. Oh, I, I've seen those. Goes Fuck and you, you dude. fall. Yep, you're free falling like like you yeah. were on that slide. My feet are so big right. that when I was going down, <gasps> the water shot up off of the feet into directly into my giant nose. And I'm just waterboarding. Drown, water my, <gasps> you're drowning. <laughs> <laughs> just the whole way down. That's a good act out, Jeremiah. Oh, thank you. Put it in the act. I found a way to do it on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> Guys, I'm an LA comic. I got to get out of my system. Sorry. Sorry. I got to perform somehow. <laughs> that sounds terrifying and not fun. It was horrible. It was legit. Like, but, like I was choking and spitting up water uh, as I went down. It got in my eyes, my nose, and and I was couldn't breathe. And I was like, I never want to ride that Who ride again. Who enjoys that? I don't know. Thrill seekers. <laughs> now we're to match. Who enjoys that? Sebastian Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Joyce Who likes, water likes that? Why are you like this? Why would you yeah. ride that? <laughs> I've, I don't think I've ever been to Six Flags. Mm. Maybe. No, I oh, went once. There it is. Yeah. That freaking hellstorm of a ride. <laughs> Look like Buzz Lightyear for a moment. You think you're cool, and then the trap door happens. Yeah, you're horrible. like in a pod. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. Would you go to space? <laughs> Sorry. I, I, every sixth episode of this podcast, I ask my guest if they would go to space. <laughs> You, you know, you don't freak me out though. What was the movie? <laughs> Nicole's dying because she's thinking of this clip where I was such a such a stupid idiot. On I'm listening. Uh, did you see that movie with? Oh, uh, was it Matt? Contact McConaughey? and Jodie Foster. The one where he finds out he basically because he's outside of the 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 Earth's atmosphere, he's aging at a normal rate, but like Earth is aging faster oh no i don't know and he gets back and his daughter that he left to go up to space is yeah. now older than him oh that's weird so, it was, they, so his wife is dead oh, I was his like, so daughter they, he's attracted to his daughter oh, hello <laughs> <laughs> looks like his wife yeah, yeah. You... <laughs> wait a second uh oh i think it's interstellar maybe stellar yeah it's I think, it is. I think it is he's been in a couple space movies then why does he look so sad? Oh, well, his whole life gets like shattered because of some delays in space, basically. Oh. Like he gets stuck outside of the earth. The earth is moving faster at a rate of time. So he's aging like like at a slower rate than like his wife and his daughter and stuff wow. like that. Maybe I'll watch this. I liked it. Did you watch the Nickelodeon documentary? No, but um, I, I need to, I guess, because people keep talking about it. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah. I heard, I asked somebody, I was like, is it worse than Finding Neverland? And people are like, it's so much worse, worse. than that. Because everything is implied in Finding Neverland. Yeah. And then this is like, this happened for sure. Right. And it's like. There's, it, here's the receipts. Yeah. yeah. And it's and it's also like, there's like awful things. I'm not going to give away too much because I I think you'll you will like it. But I mean, you won't like it. It's weird if you enjoy it. But I, it, you'll. It, Ooh, another episode. <laughs> Mm, exciting i hope this gets a season two (laughs) but there was one thing they kept referring to that kept happening and and the thing that's kind of upsetting is that it was just like on tv and like millions of people watched it and had no problem it was like scene after scene where little girls were getting things like squirted on their face that like looked like cum shots like 
so weird. many examples of that like kept coming up and well, I, that, was like, I always thought that when well later on but uh about the like any of those old super soaker commercials right. and different stuff like that yeah. like it would be like kids being like like rained on yeah. and stuff like, it was just weird stuff it makes you feel uncom- like i'm not a pedophile but i can see why a pedophile would enjoy that right oh soaking wet kid it, cool ugh, that yeah. creeps me out Sorry for being normal. <laughs> even me, even me joking, saying that line, I was like, Ugh. right? It sends like chills down your spine. Yeah. But that's, I mean, I was never like a big Nickelodeon. I never, I mean, I guess I was too old for a lot of those shows, but even maybe like getting slimed what, was what gross. Were, I mean, just slimed in general. Um, did, have you seen the Katy Perry when she got slimed? No. Katy Perry? It's crazy. Really? She got slimed at a, at a like Kids Choice at Awards. At a Kids Choice Awards, yeah. but like th- whoever. I don't know if they didn't like her or this is like the joke of like it, it Taylor just kept Swift going when she was but mad it at was her. brutal. Oh, oh god! I mean, look how much that is. The way it hit her. The way it hit her is so much. That's so much pressure. Mm-hmm. Why would they make it so much pressure? Oh my god! <laughs> it's so much. That fucked like her eyelashes probably came off. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, yeah, I didn't watch too much. We didn't have those, cha- we didn't pay for those channels growing up. We had, we had like, uh, like very, very basic cable. Um, but I ended up watching some of those shows later. Did you watch certain cart, like what cartoons did you grow up on? Red and Stimpy. Okay. Yeah. That's like, was like. That was, that was your go-to? That was my, I mean, we watched The Simpsons eventually, but mm-hmm. what were other like cart? I was never a real, cause my, whatever my brother liked, I would make a point to like, try not to like it, but we came together on Ren and Stimpy. Did you have a video game console that you guys would play I don't play mean together? we like orgasm together. I, I got that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I figured. <laughs> Ren and Stimpy's on? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like the grossest show. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> what cartoons did you watch? Um, I mean, all of them. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh Man, yeah, Spider-Man. Teenage Mutant. I watched the Turtles. Yeah. What else? You uh, say, and then I'll say if I did. Batman, Spider Man, no. X Men. A um, little X Men. I liked Wolverine, uh, and I liked Who Jubilee. Uh, yeah, some older ones: Flintstones, Jetsons. Sure, sure, uh, sure. Tom I and mean, Jerry. Tom and Jerry. Animaniacs. Classic. Love Animaniacs. Animaniacs are funny. Loved it. Dot. I love Dot. Yeah, I Ooh, Rugrats. Loved. I watched a little Rugrats. Yep. Watch Rugrats. Yep. Tommy. What's weird is like there's a lot of those shows that are they're they're remaking, and I've been I'm starting to audition for some of the shows that we grew up on. Oh, cool. Like, which is like so weird. Like voice stuff. Uh huh. Cool. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. Uh, it's bizarre. Do your, do, are your kids into like um, Bluey or Paw Patrol? Oh, yep. Yeah, those uh, are like. My nephew's obsessed. Bluey, my son likes a lot. My wife took my son to uh, the Paw Patrol movie. He's like, that was boring. Oh, no way. I was like, you're reviewing movies under three now? He's like, boring. Boring. <laughs> Two stars. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Cool. That's great. That's yeah. cute. Kids but I, t- cute. I took him to uh, the Spider-Man movie, and I took him to uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie, and they were a little bit too much for him. I'm like... Was it scary at parts? He was scared for sure, and yeah. I was like, let's watch the lobby, but... Dada wants to finish this. Yeah. So let's, <laughs> let's let's write it out, brother. Let's you, you got sack it. Sack up a little. <laughs> I took my brother and his kids to go see um, the Lion King, the musical, while they were here, and they were so cute. We were like five the, minutes late. Oh, the late. musical out here in New York. Yeah, I mean, ama- I've seen it a couple times. This is incredible. It's great. Yeah. Like, I think it's like the best one to bring kids to. It's just so entertaining for them. They know all the songs. Yep. We were a little bit late, so like the opening number when all like the animals and the people are coming to the stage, I was like oh, at first heartbroken. I'm like, oh my god, we're gonna miss this. But they show it on the monitors, and we actually saw the actors. They were like two centimeters away from us, like walking up. So like they were stoked. That's cool. Like we saw Nala. It's like cute little girl about to be Nala I'm like this girl's probably making more money than me she's on yeah. Broadway yeah, yeah yeah, that's a tough job though oh yeah Lion King's been running for I a long I saw Back to the Future on, on Broadway oh, and how was, was that it was freaking cool awesome they had a DeLorean that went out over the freaking crowd. <laughs> yeah, that's and awesome. And I was like, sold. I know. Sold. I saw Jersey Boys. Fucking love that. It's like a concert. I what You know what I enjoyed about it is as stand-ups, I think we get so critical with watching our own stand-up and then even like our peers like waiting to go up or whatever. 
that you get a little bit jaded about the art yeah. every once in a while. But like I went and like after I turned off like, you know, how silly it is, like you just enjoy it. And right. it was so fun. You were, let yourself get immersed. Yeah, exactly. I'm pretty good at that. Like at first I'm like the comic in me is like, jaded. Man, it's freaking dumb, I like know. whatever. But then I'm like, give yourself over, Jeremy. Yeah, why not? Like, why not? Enjoy it. And then Take like. Take the dopamine. Right. It's here for the taking. Yeah. It's right there. I fucking love dopamine. I throw my dog a frisbee every morning. I'm like, these are your dopamine hits for the morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Of course you like me. Did you act like in high school and stuff? Did you do any? I did. Yeah, yeah. I did. I did like grades. I, I I did plays like all throughout grade school and like middle school and stuff like that. But then in high school, uh, I, I started getting to, hand jobs. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I started to. Uh, <laughs> I no, started shooting sketches right. and uh, like broadcasting in high school. And stuff. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Early on, I yeah. was making uh, like comedic music videos and sketches and shorts and all that stuff. And I was like entering film festivals and uh, got really into that. Uh, that's at, such a skill. Like people who, like who can like do that, like produce, like see a vision, like start to finish. I'm always envious of like I'll have these like flippant little ideas that let just like disappear. Just like people that can like make things happen. Like Sam Rubinoff, like with this like short film. It was just sure. like he just treated everything so professionally and mm -hmm. like rehearsals and this and everything. It was just like comes together and seeing all the moving pieces like the forest from the trees type thing. I'm not very good at. I just climb my own tree and stay up there. <laughs> hey, I mean, the, but that that's what the that's what the actors are. For. That's there's a reason why there's actors, directors, the yeah. producers, everything. Like everybody has like their own roles that they, they fit on set. But did you have a camera like at a young mm -hmm. age? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I have been very like when I really like something, I really really commit to it. Uh, so I bought a camera and like i bought like my own imac like in, in 2005 and i was editing my own stuff yeah and because my school had them my school had randomly in kansas like uh i guess it's not randomly a lot of big broadcasters come out of the midwest because there's not a specific accent it's just like it's called a broadcast dialect that makes sense so we had an amazing broadcasting program where they had crazy good equipment, equipment for high school yeah so i like i saved up money working random jobs and stuff like that to to buy my own stuff so i could edit at home and not just at school yeah and uh yeah was making sketches and music videos and all that stuff just like where'd you go to college community college called johnson county community college <laughs> associate's degree thank you <laughs> and yes my parents are divorced <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, he probably went to like a film production school. He was no, probably. You, you know what it was? I <coughs> I had seen different people go to film school at KU and different colleges and stuff like that. And then I kept hearing time and time again about people who just went out to LA, got on sets and started doing stuff. And I'm like, I got my two years at college. Right. Like let's I go. learned enough. Like. Right. Let's go. I know Let's, what I want to do. Yeah, I have a I know, handle on this. I want to be a comedian. Right. Like I knew that you you can't really go to college for that. Nope. So you might know. as well just get in the game. Yep. I didn't know I want. When did you know you wanted to be a comedian? Uh, pr fairly, you know, fairly early. I thought it was a fantasy for the longest time because I didn't understand. I just did. Someone, it like seems being, like an unachievable job. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So when I would watch like Saturday Night Live and different like. Chris Farley movies and Jim Carrey movies and Steve yeah. Martin and Robin Williams, all these guys. It seemed like a, like, like a fictional job. Yeah. And and then literally it sounds so weird because this is like pre internet and stuff like that. I started like getting books from the library and stuff where I would check them out and be like, these persons trained at second city or they uh -huh. trained at groundlings and that was that's why i started improv honestly probably first is because i was like well this is a path right that's what they did this is and what this they is, did yeah this where got like them to comedians there. are like yeah i just did open mics and then like that sounds like an invisible right. ladder yeah but i started doing second city and, and groundlings and all that stuff and uh and that's where i got my start and then started doing the stand-up simultaneously and then i was like well i'm getting mediocre at both <laughs> so, <laughs> so i need to put it all into stand-up yeah that's funny <gasps> i didn't know i wanted to be a comedian i thought i wanted to be an actress mm -hmm. i thought i wanted to be a ballerina until i was 14 and they told me i was never going to be one Trust. why did they tell you that my legs weren't going to ever be high enough i wasn't tall enough you're going to be 5'10 with a small head 
fuck you ballet um if i had my thing is like my mom would put me into anything i was interested in and like throw all her support behind me but she wasn't she didn't know any like she wasn't like oh you're in the boston ballet I, and i was on the professional track i was going like five days a week and then you like get your really? period and they reevaluate you and they say Ooh. you're gonna make money at this or you hit puberty you get your period whatever oh, okay. you're like once you like start developing i just imagine when you said them that. checking like they're like, like 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 a csi like like crew they have gloves and they're like we found blood in the women's locker room which one of you started your period we must reevaluate all of you right now can any of you still do this without clotting yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly precisely but uh so they were like you could have a career, but you'll be in the chorus. Like there was a ballet called Giselle and the chorus are called the Willies. And that's mm -hmm. what the lady said to me. She's like, you'll be the first Willie on stage because you're short. And I'm like, that sounds fucking gay. Like I want to be the best. Like I right. want to be, I'm getting in trouble for cracking jokes in class. I'm getting in trouble for talking too much. Yeah. All of my accolades are about my upper body and my expression. None of them are about technique <laughs> <You're right. laughs> or like anything like that. So, uh, yeah, I, and then I was like, oh, I guess I'll be an actress. And I thought I was going to be an actress. But similar to what you were saying about how it felt like a, an unachievable, like fake job. When I started getting interested in like acting, it was always comedic acting that I was drawn to. So my mom got me like Lily Tomlin, like her like one woman show. Gotcha. She's like sitting in that big chair and then Gilda Radner's mm -hmm. one woman show. Yeah. And it was the same feeling of like, I don't think I can do that. Like mm -hmm. that just seems like they're like otherworldly. Unachievable. Like unicorns. But then, so I went to school for acting and I was cast in this really weird play and the guy wanted us to do something with our feet. I'm lucky this guy didn't rate me. Anyway, I was like, oh, I'll rip into my first five minutes of stand up that I had ever written. Yeah. And so the first time I ever did stand up, it was like at a packed theater and it was like five minutes and I killed. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I guess this is my thing. Right. And then the next night did not go as well. <laughs> but it's usually like, how it goes. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. like lesson learned. I was mm -hmm. like, but I still love it. And I still think I could get back to that first feeling. Mm -hmm. Stand up's crazy, man. I know. It's always chasing the dragon. Yes. Always. Always looking for the next best set, uh, but that, thinking about the worst that one. That next high. <laughs> How am I going to wow. get that dopamine We're already at 52 minutes. We're crushing. We're freaking This is flying, flying by. You're like yeah. a chatty Kathleen. Hey, Jeremiah. Uh, girl, don't get me started. <laughs> all okay? day long. I'm so proud of myself that I haven't done it, but all day long I've been going, Jeremiah was a bullfrog. I sang that to my mom this morning. I used to listen to that song maybe like once a week going to school when I was little. So there was, uh, I met uh, this person with autism recently that... Uh, uh, Me? No, it wasn't you. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, he goes, uh, he goes, uh, Jeremiah, like Jeremiah was a bullfrog. It was a song that was sang uh, by the Beach Boys. Uh, and I go, I correct him. I go, actually, it's a song by Three Dog Night. Uh, it's called Joy to the World. And it crushed him. He goes, what? What? And then he immediately goes to his phone because he, he was wrong. I was, like, I was like, not to, I was like, maybe the Beach Boys did a cover at some point or something like yeah. that. But I go, I heard this song my whole life. Right. So I kind of got to correct you on this one. Yeah. Yeah. He crushed yeah. him. I cr he was so shocked that he was wrong. He turned he into a puzzle piece statistical. and ran away. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Nicole's so mad at me. She's like, Karen, can you not? That song's so good though. Do you hate it, Jeremiah? Was Joy to the World? No, it's a it's a, honestly it's a great such song. Such a good song. And Three Dog Night is a great band in general. If yeah. you, uh, what else? They have another uh, one of my favorite songs. Uh, they sing the song One. One is the loneliest number. Oh yeah. One really is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. Two can be as bad as one. It's the loneliest number. Says the number one. Oh. <laughs> Joe's going to be devastated when he sees this. <laughs> you know, Seth's no the saddest, saddest experience that you'll ever do. Yes, it's, it's the saddest experience you'll ever do. do. So why will Joe be upset? Joe List. This is kind of their thing as they sing, we sing to a degree that people complain. You have a really good voice. Well, Joe has a really good voice too, though. I ruined the singing, but I'm okay <laughs> with that. But yeah, he's going to be jealous. Oh, well, shots fired, Joe List. <laughs> I'm taking Feehan one song at a time, brother. And guess what? Both feet are on the couch now. I'm getting real comfy, Joe. You better watch yourself, Joe List. I'm going to keep singing into Karen's heart every episode we do together. 
Watch out, brother. I New see. York Jeremiah is here to stay. I love I'm it. starting a podcast with Mark Norman tomorrow. <laughs> I love New York Jeremiah, by the way. I was watching your story like, the New York Jeremiah. Oh, it's like Dice is going to come out of the corner oh, any yeah. second and be like, any, now I'm New I, York Jeremiah. I've done it so much and I've done it on uh, on a handful of uh, of podcasts out here that anytime I come out here, people are like, is New York Jeremiah going to be there? I'm like, yeah, he's going to fucking be here. Yeah, he's doing all the rounds. He did 30 spots in two hours. New York. <laughs> we do out here right? <coughs> yeah you? we feed yeah, yeah 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 the guest was gracious enough to feed me six pepperonis before i started they got him a little sussy real class Shh. act over here you know he like likes cured meat what are you gonna do yeah what are you gonna do what are you gonna What's do that whole mill what, what is that what are you gonna do what are you gonna do <laughs> did you uh you didn't go to the patrice benefit last night did you was it last no, night we were uh we were shooting stand up on the spot oh last that was us awesome. right yeah new york comedy club yeah yeah the original new york comedy club or the east village nice I, I prefer, they're both great yeah i prefer the east village one though yeah. just because it's a little bit bigger yeah but yeah cool yeah that's great super fun are you and good? joe list was there right? we're friends i was just well i was thinking i was like he I, was there we has, had a great time he together. has a little boy now yeah we were talking about that before the show actually I'm like they probably connected on that i was trying to like in, encourage him uh just because like i was so recently in the exact age frame that he was in and i'm like dude like i know it's so hard right now but yeah. like you're going to keep hitting like little hurdles that like you'll keep seeing light where it gets more and more enjoyable. Not right. that he, he was like complaining to me or anything, but like I could tell like he's just tired right now. Right. It's like, I feel like a lot of most parents, my brother, and my sister, like yeah. it's women are a little different, but like, I think the guys, like it's, it's, it's gotta be kind of hard to connect with a baby. Who's not really talking. It is. Because, I, I was talking to Joe about this last night because we didn't, grow it inside of us we don't right. have the same attachment so it sounds weird but i didn't start really really loving my son <laughs> until like he was closer to nine months yeah like yeah. it takes a while sure it, like six months you know yeah. whatever people but, will demonize people for being honest about shit and it's like i love him of, of course, course immediately i love we'll the, the babies him, but, but, but as, as they get older like the love can exponentially grows i think for men even a little bit more yeah. in that way and they start doing like 10 cute things a day it's true. If my sister could, she would probably send me a picture of her son every four minutes. The only thing that's hard about being on the road a lot is my wife will will sometimes text me videos of like like something like, like a, a milestone. jump. Yeah, like just little things. Like she sent me a video yesterday where he learned how to pop his lips. Like like the he's like nine months and he started going. <laughs> he just discovered it. He just discovered it. Mouth. <laughs> yeah, he just discovered it. And he was, I was like, Damn. Uh, all right, yeah, it's so good. Yeah, something to look forward to when you come back. Yeah, I'm, hey, do the thing. He's gonna do the lip thing. He's like, what lip gonna, thing? I don't know what you're talking about. It's for mom. Yeah, that's for mom only. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jeremiah, this was such a good episode, man. Yeah, I really thanks so much appreciate for having you me. coming all the way down here. I know you got a lot going on while you're in town. How long are you I here for? You making the time? Uh, I'm just here for uh, the week. Um, yeah, just uh, wanted to film a stand up on the spot out here and make the rounds, you know. Do it all. Say uh, hi to some people on the east side, the west side, the south side, the north side. <laughs> <laughs> Take the L train to the N train, to the R train, to the Q train, to the M train, to the P train, to the one, two, three, four, five, six train. You know how it is out here. Sorry, train to like the MTA can suck a dick. You know how it is. <laughs> Um, I had some thought and you made me laugh it out of my head. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> I was going to say something. So, oh, if you're not following LA Jeremiah or New York Jeremiah, <laughs> follow him, support him. He's always making great stuff, making you guys laugh. So don't be fucking stupid. If you're not following him yet, follow him. Don't be stupid. Don't be watch stupid. not another crowd work special out. April probably 1st. Now. It'll April probably 1st. be out now. Yeah. Just watch it. Just watch it. Alright, goodbye. Throwing ass on the ground, getting laughs at the stand. Only she can, only feed hands. It's only, only, it's only feed hands.